What's going on guys, my name is Everly and today I'm showing you guys how to get a better accuracy and just be better at COD in general. Now I play in the tactical, tactical button layout, I think it is, and I also have a 6 sensitivity. Just random really, you can change it for different guns or your playstyle or whatever, but normally your aim assist is normally on, but you want to turn that off for the game mode that we're going to be playing at the moment. So make sure it says disabled instead of enabled, which would normally be. It basically slight aimbot i guess it's aim assist aimbot you get where it comes from but anyway playing comeback free for all have nine bots on and make sure they're on recruit for now at the moment this is like a beginner's guide to cod right here and you really want to be aiming for some good kills to deaths ratios so i'm just going to start the game in a moment here i'm not actually playing this live because oh gosh i am bad when i talk live you just oh, oh. <laughs> i just can't play cod at all really so as you can see even on recruit bots i'm still bad but i guess it's quite a good way to get noobs and things to be good at the game i don't know Especially when you're adjusting to this new COD here, new, it's not even new now, it's like half a year old or something, maybe a bit more. But yeah, anyway, so, this is another thing I wanted to talk about, the hair trigger. It's very under underrated AK-12 variant, I'm pretty sure it goes up in fire rate, which is a very, very good thing for the AK. And it goes down in handling and no one needs handling. Now, you want to master the spawns in free fall, which is a cool thing to do. And you want to be mainly aiming for that DNA bomb kill streak. You won't be able to use it, but you'll still be able to get it. In this gameplay here, I think it's like 30 to 4, 30 to 5, something like that. And that's quite a good place to be. Now, once you've got that DNA bomb, you want to play it twice and get like two DNA bombs in the games running up. And then you want to move on to the regular bots. Now, this is going to take a long time, obviously. And you want to really just speed run these DNA bombs until the point where you can get them in multiplayer as well. Now, it's quite weird to say, but you just have to play it a lot. And you're not even getting anything from it apart from experience. And this is if you don't want to damage your KD in the process, because I actually find it quite fun to even play on bots. Just picking up the guns when you run out of ammo and things like that. I probably should have put scavenger on in this playthrough here. But I did pretty decent, I guess. It's on recruit, but still got five, five or four deaths. I can't really remember. I went on a walk in the previous time for me doing this gameplay here. But yeah, that's just pretty much it. I'll show you my end scores if you really want to know. But you just want to aim for the head, if anything. That's just something to go for as well. And then eventually, you're just going to snap into it in the normal multiplayer games. You want to turn on your aim assist after. And then you will absolutely wreck in multiplayer. Obviously, use guns that you're not too good at with. So, like, I want to get this AK-12 Royalty in multiplayer. So, I'm going for that. I've already got the Balin Diamond. So, yeah. That's pretty much it, and I'll see you all. I see! Yeah, I can't even speak. Well, oh well, you'll see the outro. But I'll see you all guys in the next video. But that's it for this video guys, like, comment, subscribe, favorite, do whatever, and I will see you all in the next video.